Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. This is going to be my email address. And uh, we're doing CAT 2006, question number 60. It was the 10th question in the CAT 2006 paper in the qualitative section. Okay, so the sum of four cons consecutive two digit odd numbers when divided by 10 becomes a perfect square. Which of the following can possibly be one of these four numbers? Now there are two ways you can do these questions, these type of questions. Either you go by the algebra, uh, you just assume that you know one of the numbers is x, the other number will be x plus 2, then it's x plus 4. Uh, but that will not give you the answer because he's asking which of the ones can possibly be one of the four numbers and you don't have an exact uh, equation which is becoming, which is giving you the answer straight away. So it's always good to use the options in such questions. However, in this question, he's asking you which one of the four, one, which can be one of the four numbers, which means that each option will give you four possible different scenarios, right? You can assume the, if you assume the first option to be true, then you can take the numbers to be 21, 23, 27, 29, 19, 21, 23, 25. So you can take the numbers like this, which means that each option giving you four possibilities, four or op five options giving you 20 possibilities. So that's not the scenario. That's not what you should be taking. So that means you should be working the question a little bit and then using the option. Now he's saying that sum of four consecutive odd integers when divided by 10 gives you a perfect square. That means that the sum over here must be divisible by 10. That means the sum of four consecutive odd integers must give you a number which is divisible by 10. So if I list down all the possible odd numbers which can come as unit digit, for the number to be divisible by 10, I should get a zero at the end. So let's see what all four numbers consecutive should give you the sum 10. So if I try 1, 3, 5 and 7, that gives me only 12 plus 4, that is 16, that is not divisible by 10. If I use 3, 5, 7, 9, that gives me 8, 8 plus 16 again, which is not divisible by 10. If I use 5, 7, 9 and 1, that gives me 5 plus 7, 12, 10, 12 plus 10 is 22, which is also not divisible by 10. However, if I use 7, if I use 9, if I use 1, and if I use 3, so 9 plus 7 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20, that will give me a number which is divisible by 10. So that means the digits, the last digits must be 7 and 9 and then 1 and then 3. These numbers, these numbers will be the consecutive odd numbers which will give you, the sum will give you number to be divisible by 10. So let me go ahead and use the first option that is 21. That means this number is 21, this number is 23, this number is 19 and this number is 17. If I add all the numbers, it becomes 80 which is not the number I'm looking for because 80 divided by 10 is not a perfect square. Okay, let's try the second number. Now you don't even need to try the second number because the second number has 5 at the end and none of our numbers has 5 at the end. That means that second num option is automatically gone away. Let's try to use the third option. The third option says 41. That means this is 41. This number, the next number would be 43. The number before that would be 39. And the number before that would be 37. So if you add, you already know that 7 plus 9 plus 1 plus 3 is 20. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 2, that carrot forward is 16. If you divide 16 by 10, you get a perfect square. Isn't it? So that means third option is your answer. You try these options, they won't give you the answer to be safe, right? They, they will give you 280. Uh, both of them will give you 280, which will not be the answer, which, which is not a perfect square, right? So that means that I got my answer as the third option. So you could very well see uh, how, how, what logic is being used in this question. Uh, you, if you start using algebra, you will end up into complex equation. And that's why a cat is termed to be difficult. But it's not difficult. You have to follow the logical approach. And even if you're using the options, even before trying to use the options, you should uh, list it down so that, you know, using the options become more efficient, right? So I hope you understood this. And uh, don't forget to send me your feedback. Um, thank you very much and see you next video.